Hello, everyone. So, had a question about how to find my recordings and how to share them in WebEx. Okay, no problem. We can do that. So, I am going to show you today how to find your recordings and how to share them in WebEx. I do um, pretty much all of my recordings here in WebEx. I actually kind of like it. It's really easy to use. And so, let's get into that. All right, so with this, I'm going to share my content. And I say it in all of my videos, get in the habit of sharing your content and not sharing your screen, okay? So what we're gonna do, this is my YouTube channel, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go up here and we're gonna go to webex.com. Webex.com. Okay, and up here in the upper right-hand corner, you will see sign in, sign in. And you're gonna sign in right there at WebEx meetings. Okay, we're not using WebEx Teams right now, we're just using WebEx meetings. You're going to sign in with your Madison College email address, okay? It's gonna take you through an authentication process to make sure you are who you say you are. And then we are here, this is my personal room. Welcome, we are in my personal room. Now there is a way to get to this via the app, okay? There is a way to get to it via the app, but this is really kind of the easiest way. I just tell people, go to webex.com and it's pretty easy to do, but there is a way to get to it from the app. You go to the little cog at the top, unless you're on a Mac, because on the Mac, it doesn't have the little cog on top of the app. You have to go up to the, the, the menu bar up at the upper left-hand corner there. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on Preferences. You're going to click on Personal Room. And then it's gonna there's going to be a little blue thing at the bottom that says, Edit My Personal Room on the website. Well, that's how you're going to get here. So you can do it that way, or you can just go to WebEx.com, log in here at WebEx.com. So I'm going to go over here where it says Recordings. There it is over on the left-hand side. That's how I'm going to find my recordings. So all of my recordings, if I record to the cloud, are right here. Now, if you record to your computer, and I always tell people, if you're going to record to your computer, that's fine. First of all, make sure you've got enough memory on your computer in order to record this. The, you know, your videos might take uh, two to four gigs, could be a little bit more than that, depending on how long they are. So make sure you have enough memory. And then remember where you put it. That's the other thing. Remember where you put it, remember where it went to, because a lot of people say, I recorded on my computer, but I have no idea where I put it. Can you help me find it? Yeah, I probably can. But it's easier just to remember exactly where you put it, and then that way you're good to go. So if you're recording to the cloud, this is how you're gonna get to your recordings in the cloud. If you're recording on your computer, just remember where you put it, okay? So here I am in the cloud, and this is a recording that I did recently, okay? And this recording, I wanna now share that with, oh, I don't know, my students, okay? Let's say I wanna put it on Blackboard, right? I wanna somehow link it to Blackboard so that my students can watch it. Now, some people like to download it to Usia and then, or download it to their computer and then upload it to Usia or something like that. Maybe you're gonna embed quizzes over it. That's fine, you can do that. If you record it on your computer, you can just upload into Usia and then you can record, you know, you can do a quiz over top of it or something like that if that's what you wanna do. Absolutely cool, I love that feature on Usia. However, if you're just looking to share it, right here you'll see there's a little share link. Now, this is your download. So if you wanna download it to your computer, you can definitely do that. Um, if you wanna edit it, you can edit it here in, um, in WebEx, there's a small bit of editing that you can do like cutting off the front or the back or something like that, you can do that. But if you're really looking for good editing, uh, Camtasia, something like that, Yuja, Yuja does good editing, so you can edit in there as well. But if you're looking to just share it, here it is right there, this is the share link, okay? I'm gonna click on that share link and you can see it like prompts me to enter an email address and stuff like that. Let's say you just wanted to share it with one person. Sure, no problem. Enter in their email address, click save, done. And it shares it with them. But let's say you wanted to post a link to Blackboard that your students could then click on and everyone in the class could see it. Well, that's what you're gonna do right here. You're gonna click on this, I don't know, rectangle on top of a rectangle right there. When you click on that rectangle on top of rectangle, you notice it says copied. Well, you just copied your link, now take it and put it as a web link in Blackboard. And that's it. Your students will now click on that link. It'll take them directly to the recording. That's the link to the recording. That's easy. That is easy. If there's an easy button, that's the easy button. There it is right there. That's the easy button. I love it. That's an easy way to do it. That is an easy way to link it out to your students. Again, if you record to your computer, you have to upload to Usia or something like that in order to get into Blackboard. But that's also pretty easy to do as well. 
All right, well, that's what I've got for you. That is my latest recording. Thank you so much for uh, for checking it out, and have a great day.